just gave off a very very large sigh there's some flies around him these little biting flies and that you do bother a lot of the animals Animals, yeah, you can see them buzzing around his face. But I suppose out here the animals are used to the insects and they've all got various ways of dealing with them. I suppose if you think of buffalo and elephant and um, animals like that that need to uh, wallow in mud and the warthog especially too, they love love wallowing in the mud. Get rid of the ticks and that that do sit on them. Lions, I've never seen an, a, a lion wallowing in mud. I highly doubt we will see it. Um, but I have seen lions swimming. I've seen lions go into water, um, fairly deep water to cross a river. And that also happens in Botswana a lot. The prides of lions in the delta, they need to cross through, uh, through fairly deep water and they do swim in certain parts of Botswana. Now, if this is definitely in Fumo, and judging by that scar on the nose, I, th I think it is. Oh, okay. So, apparently, this is definitely not in Fumo. Uh, some of you viewers are saying it's not him. So, who is it then? Who do you think it is? Like I said, I've unfortunately not seen... I've only seen two of the Birmingham males. I haven't seen the other two brothers. It's a coalition of four that uh, patrol this territory and are dominant in this area. But I've only ever seen two of them. And during the during the end of last year, uh, the two males were around. I think it was Mfumo and Antinio, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they were around following the Unkahuma Pride. But um, but the other males, I think I've only, I'm trying to think, I think I saw one of them last year, but I can't remember which one. So, um, so I'm not entirely sure what they look like. Sometimes difficult. You know, I always, uh, I always say, I, it is nice, and <laughs> some of you might disagree with me, but it is always nice to know which lions are around and which animals we are seeing. Um, especially because these are the wonderful characters of Safari Live and we do get to know them because these are the dominant animals that we see fairly regularly. However, when I do guide guests and that, it's, it's usually a case of just enjoying the sighting and being able to see a beautiful male lion. I mean, there is always a story to it, and you can say, you know, they are the dominant males in the area, they belong to a coalition. But when it comes to identifying animals, it, it is difficult, unless you really, really look very carefully. And, um, and I do think it, at times people get it, get it wrong. So I usually just enjoy seeing what's in front of us and, and, uh, and enjoying this big male.